We're really locked in, like. You all are in there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. I'll come on my way. I appreciate it. <laughs> That's not you us. Don't believe what just happened. A ghost wanted to trap us. You hearing something back there, Earl? It's you? I think there's something that clicks back there. Something's walking behind me. And there's a guy standing there with a clear as day gunshot wound, like. Okay, I'm gonna have to call Philip. <laughs> oh, I didn't bring Philip's car. So he's got my wallet. Number. Okay, so. <laughs> It's not this little knob up here. Or up there. Or, or, or lock. Oh man. <laughs> <That's not> even... <laughs> well, it's good content. <laughs> Problem is, is now I have to call him and say, hey, we're you're locked. Um, I don't think it's. We're really locked in, though. Like. 16 hours locked on the third floor of Ross Opera House. Adam, Adam. Hello? Hey, is this Philip? Yeah. Hey, Philip, this is Cameron from Next Gym. Um, just a quick question. We might need you to actually come back to Ross. Um, the, the doorway that leads up to the, the third floor, the original balcony, is there a trick to getting that door open? There should be a doorknob right there on the floor. The, yeah, the, uh, the, the, the thing it connects to was pushed out to the back of the door, so we weren't able to get it. All you have is a knob. Yeah, all we have is a knob and no way to open the door. Okay, if you would go downstairs, and either in the men's or the women, I think it's the men's restroom, <laughs> we can't. or it goes into the closet, is a doorknob that'll come off. All right. There's some mountain that has the has the end of the mic. The the issue is that we're on the steps leading up to the third floor. Oh, you all are in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'll come on my way. All right. I appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> no Ellen, what do you feel like right now? Hey, do you feel like coming to the gym was the right decision? It's been 85 years. We're still here. <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry. Well, this has never happened in the history of the 13 years that we've been doing this. We've never had to call someone and say, oh, we locked ourselves <laughs> outside the door. God. So I really don't know what to do right now. I feel very unprepared. I mean, yeah, we could probably kick the door down if I really wanted to. Oh, yeah, 100%. All our snacks are down there, though. How will we live? I'm, just, I'm more agitated that we're, like, eating into our investigation. <laughs> we locked ourselves because normally it would just slot, especially on these older doors. Adam, can you say that one more time? The, the, it's really the part where I was right. Well, I just wanted to try it. I mean. <laughs> Hello? 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 It's well, very, it's it's very all, interesting. It's like. Fun and games to hear back. What if this is like part of the game? Let's do a trap to us. I'll bring up set up for you. Oh, sorry. Trapped in the hallway. What was that? I don't know. Did you hear that? I heard it, yeah. <laughs> was it a female? Maybe, maybe it's him. Maybe he's opened the door downstairs. Oh. Yep. I hope that's him. God, it's a big thing, whatever it ain't. No feats, but I never. <laughs> I, it's never happened to us. It's like, never happened to us. Oh yeah, there was no no getting to that. Oh no, I don't. Yeah. I tried. I was gonna card out, but man. All right. So before we get upstairs, let's talk about this little area right here. So the very first time, the very first time that I was in the building, the camera was in the building. Um, so we came in, and it was I don't know. It was like mid afternoon. It was it wasn't like this late when we first got here. So I walked through the door. Um, we were all just, you know, in a line normally. Um, as soon as I got to about right here, I looked to my left 
and there's a guy standing there with a clear as day gunshot wound. Like you can tell just because it was all black um, on the side of his head. And he was just standing like literally right there in that doorway. And as soon as I saw him, the guy that was doing the tour, I said, has someone been shot here? And that's when he told us the story about the gentleman who allegedly he was mad at his lawyer who had an office right here. And um, I don't know if there's a confrontation. There's a lot of mixed stories. So I don't want to go into the supposed details. But um, a man was found outside on the sidewalk in front of this building with a gunshot wound to his head. Um, what's very interesting about tonight is that we just confirmed another medium um, who was in the building, actually in the lawyer's office, um, claimed to have seen the same man standing in this doorway with a gunshot wound to his head, but refused to walk into that into that room. Do you want to add that room pod right here? Um, starting EVP, Adam Owen, camera on the camera. Time is 11.37. We're on the second floor of the Ross Opera House. Setting the recorder down on the bench in the hallway. A little up here. Look, it's going off again. Well, let's see if it goes off. Like, let's wait till it stops. And we'll... It did, and it started again. But that was you. Could you come talk to us? We've got a few different devices that will let us know that you're here. Got a device that's sitting right here next to me. All you gotta do is talk into it and it's gonna allow us to go back and listen to whatever it is that you have to say. I would love to know what your name is to start. Can you walk over here and talk into this device and tell me what your name is? If you don't feel like, well, let me say this. If you don't feel comfortable talking to us, that's fine too. We've got a few, I don't know, we'll call them, we've got a few little cool little gadgets that you can interact with. Um, you can touch them and it's going to let us know that you are here with us. There's one sitting right next to Owen right here. It's got a little stick sticking out of it. If you touch that stick on it, it's gonna light up these cool little colors and make a make a little sound. It's not too loud. And it doesn't hurt you. It's just gonna let us know that you are here. Can you go over and touch that device next to Owen? Okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. Thank you for doing that. Do you remember the, a few times? I mean, it's been a few years. So if I don't remember me, that's fine. I, I respect that. But me and another one of my team members were up here, and we had cat balls as well. Oh. Yeah, you, you liked to play with those last time, too. Can you roll that? Can you roll that ball to me? If I sit on the floor, will you roll that to me? Can you roll that to me, please? I'm not gonna hurt you. Can you make it light up again if you're still here?
Or if you want, there's actually a really cool light over there. All you got to do is touch that little string. It looks like a rope laying across the floor. If you touch that, it lights up. It's pretty bright, but it's a pretty cool light too. It does pretty much the same thing as this little ball. It just lights up this cool color. Can you try to touch that? Yeah, so this is pretty common. Like the last time we were here, we got, I mean, it, it went off pretty consistently. Nice. I don't know if you feel it, but it definitely feels a lot colder. Or at least I feel a lot colder. So they might be connected with you then. More than more than me. Well, apparently not. They want me to get out of the floor. I don't know, but they're responsible. <laughs> well, I didn't answer, ask too many questions. Uh it's, it's believed there's a woman in white that walks through here. It's, is that who we're talking to? Or maybe one of the children that are running around here? I bet it's one of the kids, uh, if I had to guess. If you're a child, can you, can you make that ball light up again? How did you feel about us getting locked behind that door earlier? It's kind of funny. It wasn't that funny. I thought it was funny. It pinched me. It's never happened. But if you're still here with us, could you maybe knock on something? I've heard a lot about you. It's my first time here. I guess it could be considered or not. Yeah. I just couldn't tell. If that was you, thank you. Can you do that one more time just so that we can confirm that that was you? You want us to leave one of these balls up here for you? If you do, can you come over here and make this one go off again like you did earlier? I'm happy to leave it. All right. Do you have everything else? Yeah, I've got... Uh... Okay. I've got cat balls, I've got the light rope, I've got my full spectral camera, recorder. I've got just about everything. Do you want to start on stage and like look out or do you want to kind of on stage and focus? I was kind of curious, did you get the rope light? Yeah, it's in my hand. All right, well, let's put that on the stage. Okay. And now I say we... All right, let's focus on the stage for a little bit and then we'll see if anything... Where at on the stage do you want to put it? Because I mean, the last time we were here, so the kind of thing about like, it's the last thing that happened while we were here. Um, we, I think we were, I think we were kind of all spread out in the seating area, correct? Yeah. And we all heard the little girl do her little singing thing. And then people have reported seeing like a black mess run through here, whether it's a little boy or a little girl child. Right. So I'm wondering, like, oh, that's me. Oops, there. 
I think that's fine. Because, I mean, they're, from what I understand, it was, like, the kids like to run between the, like, curtains is what I had heard. <clears throat> Go ahead, recorder going here. And actually, I was gonna put the music box back there because that's where the that when that remember that apparition was seen. Yeah, right there on the back. I think that's a good spot to go ahead and put that. Yeah. Um, okay. So time is eleven thirteen. We are at Ross Opera House in Cynthia, Kentucky. If you hear the music box, that's Adam walking to place the music box in the hallway of the back of the auditorium where the apparition has been seen. We're gonna place the recorder on the stage. Is anybody here with us? My name's Cameron. I'm Adam. I'm Owen. We've been here a few times. I'm sure you've seen us. We brought a few different pieces of equipment with us this time for you to play with right here on the stage i'm just going to kind of show you we've got a light rope if you get real close to it and touch it it'll cause it to light up it also has the opportunity to make noise but you would get just as annoyed with that noise as i would adam is placing a round object on the stage if you get very close to that you can light up multiple different colors it'll make a little beeping sound get just like that it's very easy to do. It's not going to hurt you. It didn't hurt me at all. Don't mind this red light. This just, this just allows us the opportunity to be able to see you better. We still have those lights on up there. We're going to figure out how to turn those off. What's that? What would you hear? I heard it. It's like a loud bang. Okay, so I did hear that. I just wasn't sure what that was. So I didn't. Call it out. Hello? Hello? If you're in here, we're not here to bother you. We're here to talk to you. I thought we might be able to get here in time for a show, but I guess we missed it. Did you have a chance to watch the show with the rest of the people? Chris Batten here. Is it, is it flying behind us? I heard it flop up. Fantastic. This he, happened the last time. <laughs> yeah, it happened the last because I, I think we ended up running out of the auditorium. Well, because it was flying like really low. Stay right. Go to the left over there. Might be a white. Oh, no. A little more. To left, to left, to left. Up, up, up. Right now. Just slides him. Those just like I don't see anything. I heard it fly across. Are you sure? Yeah, the little bad noise. I don't know. I don't see it. Is Mr. Ross here? If he is and you're able to hear me. The the opera house is very beautiful. The theater is very beautiful. And it does bring a lot of joy to the community. If you have anything you'd like to say, if you please walk up to the stage and you need to talk as loud as possible, but we'd be able to hear you. I just heard something over to my left over here. I don't know what it was, but I know it was to my left. Something's walking behind me. Uh, almost like it's like walking in between the seats. She's behind us. Is it okay if I take your photo? That was me. If you're making noise, let me know where you're at so I know where to point the camera.
can you make a loud whistle noise for me? Just like this. We just want to talk to you. I know you're not you're not new to this. Rude. Yeah. So if you make one really loud noise on the count of three, I'll know where to find you. If you want to be found, one, two, three. You hearing something back there, Alan? It's whistling. We just really want to talk to you. If if you don't have anything to say, we're going to have to go to another room. Maybe find someone else that wants to talk with us. Maybe you need some time to just kind of get your composure. I know there are a lot of people here tonight. I think they said over 200 people came to the show. And you might even remember us because we've been here several times. So you know that we're not here to harm you. Other people have been here that are here to talk to you just like we are. You probably think we're a little crazy. It's because we are. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> we are different. You got that right. Who else investigates the place they're going to have to sleep tonight? Even though nobody's reported it being haunted. Let me take your phone. That damn camera. Did that just take a picture? No, it, it, off. it automatically shut itself uh, off. I thought it took a it picture. It's the same thing that scared you earlier at the Airbnb. Yeah. I thought it took a picture and I was like, well, that's freaky. <laughs> just took a picture on its own. <laughs> Listen, once that happened, I'd be happy. Hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I think we're good. There's. If there's anyone in here with us right now, can you tell me what your name is? I forgot to pull the antenna up. Is that what your name is? Okay, I forgot to pull the antenna up. How old are you? Did you touch Owen on the neck when he was upstairs? Do you want us to leave you alone? I feel. What do you feel? This thing. What thing? Do you not like talking to us? Are you one of the children that's been seen walking around this auditorium? Her? Yes, what is her name? 
Trish. James? Is her name Trish? Is his name James? Are you referring to me as James? <laughs> it came through saying rocket like on the radio. Access to the Run. 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 Why do you keep telling me to run? I'm gonna. What are you gonna do? Miss company. Are you a spirit that's followed me here? Can you tell me what's the name of the town that we're in right now? I don't know what that said. It said, can you hear us? Everything. I can hear you whenever you want me to hear you. You've got to talk a little louder so that Owen can hear you. Is this Mr. Ross that's here right now? Hear us? I can hear you. I'm right here. Okay. Can you tell me what your name is? I just saw you walk over there. Do you want to have a seat next to me? You can have a seat next to Owen, too. He's the guy with the headphones on. He may have. Don't be afraid. You can come over here. It just got really cold. Oh, one thing. I just saw something run across the stage. Oh, 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 come out. What? Bro, what? Bro, it's an old point. First off, oh, no, I don't just saw some wall across the stage. Huh? We just watched these all off three talks. Really? At one point, you asked, yes, what's, what's her day? Said Trish. James. That's crazy. What? I don't know. I was seeing like a lot of a lot of color, and that that, that happened like the first time I did a Estes method was. They kind of to me they kind of come through as like blue people, so like I would follow the blue light, and then it kind of got smaller, and then when they would come up and talk, it would get a little bigger. And then it'd be like a faint kind of deal. I don't know. What, what did you see running across the stage, though? Because that's crazy. I literally just looked real quick. And I just saw like this black, like it was just a shadow, like running, like because you can see the light coming off of this. And it was literally just a black shadow, just like dark across the stage. <laughs> was that you talking to us? I think whatever is going on over here <laughs> is probably what was talking. Could be. Uh -uh. Like, what's that one off like the third time you said like, it's okay, you're low cost, you're low cost, but then you got really cold. Yeah. 
interesting. All right, so like I feel like there's things here that I don't feel. It's almost like it's not it's not intelligent. Like I I any insult I'm like that. I feel like it's very residual. At least that's just my take on it. Like the things like run across the stage, right? Like if it was, I, I don't know. It feels like maybe it's just like a reenact, like it's reenacting a time and per a period of time or something. I don't know. And what's interesting about this area is that the woman, like, there's always a woman seen in the at like. Yeah. <laughs> There's always a woman seen in the same spot. So maybe it's like, like again, it's like a replay of her. She's just like replaying the same motions. Do you feel that? A little breeze? No. It was a vibration. Like somebody just leaned up on us back here. I didn't. Well, like, it also didn't move, so it wasn't me. I think I did it. I don't know. It's very interesting, for sure. Is that? I just saw somebody like pop up like that across at the, <laughs> at the end of the aisle down there. Dude. You want to come talk to us? This is really cool. <laughs> Like right there. And this. I don't know, man. I'm going to go away from that, though. That's freaking me out a little bit. Not going to lie. Because it's. You see what I'm talking about, Adam? Where are you looking at? Like right in this area. Give it a sec. Like, are you seeing the light the, from the exit sign black out, or no? It's it's down in the the rows. Okay. I thought it might be a shadow at first, but it was still there even when we moved. I think that's the air conditioning. Probably. Crazy. I don't know. I don't, I don't see anything at the moment, but I don't see it now. I, still, I don't know. I was like, well, it's watching me too much for my liking. All right. Well, what do you think, Owen? It's a cool place. Is there anything anywhere else you want to check out, or what do you want to do? Nah, I see you. I'm at my my little session, my fun. All right, so well, let's wrap it up. Please step away from my spear box. I didn't wrap up the session. I just kind of hung up on you. You hear something back there, Earl? It's you. I think there's something that clicks back there. Such as walking behind me. And there's a guy standing there with a clear as day gunshot wound, like 